So first I'm going to start off with my skincare. I've so already cleansed my skin, so I'll go ahead and go into my prepping the skin for makeup. I don't use any primers. I just kind of use my skincare as the priming part of that. I'll tone my skin with my toner, and then I'll go in with my Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. Then I'm going to go in with my Glow Recipe Watermelon Ultra Fine Mist. Then I will go in with my Glossier Bubble Wrap. And then I'll also put some on the top. And after that, I'll just put on my Peppermint Organic Lip Balm by Dr. Bronner's. I love this stuff. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Oma Foundation. This is in the color Honey Honey T1W. And I've really been liking this foundation. It's great coverage. I can also build it if I want, but I do kind of like to keep it on more of the sheer side. This has a great consistency to it. I love the actual foundation itself. The formula is really nice. Just the way that it sits on my skin, I've really, really been enjoying wearing this out, especially in the summer. So if you guys are looking for a new foundation or been wanting to try this out, this has been really clutch for me in these hot summers. Now to conceal, I'm going to use my Shape Tape. I actually mixed two colors, medium and medium tan golden. So I'll just do a light wash of that medium tan golden over the medium concealer to make the perfect concealer color for me. And my under eye bags have been on rampage. Like, they're really trying to play me recently and claim their independence and I just, I just won't have it. I don't feel like I've perfected it my under eye routine so hopefully 2020 is the year of <laughs> hashtag respect the under eye but right now we're just trying to cover it up i used to when i was in a huge rush just take the 37g the medium tan golden and just use that as my foundation when i was in a real pinch or if i forgot my foundation pop that on and just make it work it was way too golden but you just kind of just keep the chin down and nobody notices. <laughs> go back in with a little bit of my Oma just to go around um, the eye area to kind of blend that concealer in. Make sure we're brought down to funky town. So after concealer, I'm going to go ahead and start working on my eyes. This is super simple, nothing crazy. Remember, minimal, 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 minimal. So I'm going to find my life. And I usually have been using the Anastasia and Mario palette for my go-to everyday looks. But I kind of go between that and the like OG Naked 2 by Urban Decay palette. Uh, those are like my favorite favorite color palettes to use when it, when it comes to softer looks or everyday looks take a little bit of roxy roxy from the palette and apply that as my base and it adds just the right flush of color and i like to build it just to give that dimension with my natural skin color in the crease and then the lightness from this it's already pretty used is tees so i'll just start by working it in my crease so and this is the jh34 brush forgot to mention i'm gonna take a little bit and then pat the excess on the back of my hand because i just want a little flush of this to put in the center So crisis averted, the tease was going a little too ham. So I just wiped it off with a little thing. So this is Cider from that Morphe palette. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. I had to switch it up because that other color was getting a little cray cray. La, 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 la. Yeah. It looks like a little coffee shade, that mango one on my lid. There's no point for them when my hair is slicked back like this, but they're just so cute. So now I'm going to go in and do my brows. I'm going to be using my top two favorite new products, products that I just 
got from Glossier my boy brow in the color black and my brow flick as well in the color black these two products are life changing i've never used anything this good for my brows the formula in here is sickening i love it so much the brow flick i mean it has such a great applicator and i love the strokes the hair like strokes that it gives off when you actually apply it to your brows it's not heavy at all it's super light so it's very natural looking definitely build it if you want a more dramatic brow i've definitely gotten super excited with it and done a very bold brow but if you guys are looking for a great brow either duo i would definitely recommend both of these well if you're kind of like me and you just want to fill in some sparse areas brow flick is definitely a game changer my brows i'm not very particular i do just like them to kind of look very natural and soft like i said i can go a little crazy and I'll start here in the middle where I, my brows are a little sparse here in the middle area. And I'll just do light strokes. And on the tail end, I just will do a little baby strokes. It's hard to film and do your brows. Like, you don't breathe when, well, I don't breathe when I do my brows. And this is the first product that I feel like actually gives hair-like strokes because some other ones that I've tried have not been this like accurate to what my brow hairs look like. And then you can get a spoolie, but I'll usually just get like my middle finger and kind of comb through the product in my brows. And I feel like this just gives it like a natural, more natural look uh, and it blends my brows it with the product a little bit better so I just like to do that right after I've done it just to soften everything out and you could like I said you could definitely use a spoolie uh, but I just like using my finger it just blends it very softly you're not gonna get like a super blend but it just warms up that product and blends it in and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my boy brow this is in black this formula from Glossier for the brows is Wow, it like, is a great product, and I would definitely recommend this to anybody who's trying to go for that like woodsy, more natural, bushy brow look. This one is like 100% a recommendation. Boom. For blush, I'm gonna go in with my other favorite. As you can tell, I'm kind of obsessing over Glossier recently. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Storm. This is great if you have my skin tone or a little bit darker. I tried the other ones and they were a little too pinky for me, but I still love a good pink blush, but this one is just really pretty. I mean, it looks the way it is in the packaging. It's just like a great berry color. You can just do whatever the heck you want with yeah. it. I'll put the most product closest to my hairline so I can blend it out and then bring it down. After that, we're gonna go into our highlighter. Now, normally some people will contour here, but I don't really like to contour whenever I'm just running about. It sits on top of the cloud paint so beautifully, and I love the way this comes out in pictures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we round face girls gotta stick together because we cannot be doing our blush on our inner cheeks anymore. We cannot be bringing that contour down you need to keep everything up when you have a rounder face you just want to create a shape to your outer face and give that contour there on the outer parts of your face versus bringing everything in i'm going to set my t-zone in my eyes this is going to be my 220 natural beige fit me maybelline pressed powder just take your time i'm just going to take a little bit of side brush and add that there. <laughs> okay, like, hello? Yes, and this is she. All right, guys, so this is pretty much it for the face and the eyes. The last step that I'm gonna do is go back in with my Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm, and that's gonna be my lip color. So not only is this a great Blush. This is also great for lips and eyes and really anything that you want to do But I love using this as a lip color to finish off my look. I start in the center and I soften it out as I go 
And if you want to take it to the next level, I'm going to go in with Kylie Ginger. This is one of my favorite nudes. It's a little bit more contour. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe. I will be having more videos right, coming your way. Take care. I will see you in my next video.